Hey, what's up guys? Talon back in the new video. Uh, just a quick video today. I'm testing right now these uh, new T-Force Extreme DDR5-6. They are uh, 2 by 24 gigabyte. You can see that there's so a 48 gigabyte total for the uh, the kit and they're 8,000 CL38s at uh, 1.4 volts. Um, brand new. They just came out with them. I managed to get these on Amazon. They had them in stock really briefly. Um, and so right now I'm testing them. You guys can see here uh we're running car who about uh, 49 minutes or so into the test and we're running them with a 14900k and a zeus um z790 apex that's the og whiteboard and then i've got them running at 8400 cl38 you can see the uh parts there and these are the voltages that i'm currently using uh, so those are auto voltages. The only voltages I actually had to change, um, well, I don't even know if I had to change, but the only voltages I changed were the VDDQ and the VDD on the memory itself. Uh, their default 1.4 volt, I changed those to 1.435, which is JDAC um, max, and then it kind of rounds up, so it's on 1.44 uh, in the US. But I don't even know if that was necessary. Um, I have no idea if that's necessary at all at uh, at all to change that. I just went for that because I figured it probably would be required. But anyway, you can see the running at 38, 49, 49, 84, and uh, 700 on the TRFC. And then I've got them at 32, 767 on the TREFI. Um, the only thing I changed was the TREFI. And then like I said, the voltages are all uh, the Apex standard voltages or the auto voltages. Um, sorry, they're up here. Um, IMC looks like it set itself to about 1.4. Uh, the VCSA set itself to 1.25. And it looks like the transmitter there, VDDQ TX voltage is 1.35 as well. Um, and then I had the V core undervolted 140 millivolts because it's an SP98 chip, SP109, I believe it is. And then the memory controller is a uh, an 82. So it's not a silicon lottery winner chip by any means these are just like ridiculous sticks um and the, the cool thing about these sticks is this this heat sink on here is awesome it, like they actually use a really good thermal pad on both sides all the way across the pmic uh and the heat sink itself is like a very heavy substantial um metal and it has weight to it like they're really nice and they've got some like kind of like almost like fin uh Thin uh, stacking on them almost uh, on the side to kind of help wick the heat away if you use an air cooler. And I am using uh, an air cooler on these things right now. So they're running about, you can see about 41.5 uh, is the peak and 43.3 and they're kind of about there right now. But you know, it's running for 50 minutes or so right now at 8,400 CL38. So pretty awesome. This is a, the board, the Apex Z790 board is just incredible and then these 2x48 M dies, they're SK Hynix M dies on these kits, um, are are really, really good. They're just super, super impressive. So anyways, I thought I'd show this. Uh, I'm pretty impressed. I was running previously my 2x32 dual rank setup at 74 CL34, um, which is insane as well, because it was a 2x32 uh, dual rank setup. These are not dual rank, they're single rank, but they perform better. Uh, the latency is just a little bit lower than the dual rank setup. Dual rank was actually very, very fast in latency. Uh, the latency is pretty good on these, but the, the read, write, and copy speeds, um, the bandwidth is, is much higher with this kit versus um, what I was getting with the 2i32s. So I think I was getting like 114, 115 across the board where I'm seeing like what, 130, 128, 128, something like that for uh, for this setup with uh, Ada. Um, test so yeah i'm impressed i'm gonna let this run to an hour and then i'm gonna go game on it it'll probably get to close to 3,000 percent coverage i know some people like to run 24 hours or 20 percent or 10,000 percent cover i just i if it can pass this and i can pass uh uh y cruncher 2.5 b a few times in a row and i can pass battlefield 2042 and all my other games without crashing that's good enough for me i don't need to sit here and hammer this for 24 hours straight to be like yeah it's stable uh I know 8,000 will pass because I'm passing 8,400, no problem right now. Uh, 8,200 probably be uh, uh, easy. And it seems like 8,400 is uh, having absolutely zero issue. These are just auto voltages. Everything across the board was auto, plug and play. 
Uh, I did set it to 1.435, like I said, and I changed the T refi, but that was it. And I set manually 84 instead of 8,000. I just applied X and P, set 84. I set 1.435 for the bolt as opposed to 1.4, which I don't know if it's necessary because I haven't tested it. So I'm probably gonna reduce the voltage to save on temperatures. Uh, and then I upped the T refi and that was it. Hit go and uh, it's passing. So this is impressive. These sticks are awesome. They were about 300 bucks on Amazon. They're out of stock. They were only in stock for like one, like literally 10 minutes on Amazon. I just checked one morning. They had been out of stock. They're brand new. You can't get them anywhere except for in Europe right now. I managed to get them here in the U.S. And they took about six days to get here from Amazon. So they arrived today. And uh, yeah, I'm impressed. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.